All right, here's Jesse Sherrill off to a terrific start. The Georgia Southern second baseman batting 385 with six RBIs. By the way, the deck for Marker 7 was packed when I was leaving today. Marker 7 Coastal Grill, Corner Lumpkin and Millage, best seafood this side of St. Simons Island. Our Marker 7 first pitch at 640, misses downstairs, and it's 1-0. and And hopefully the scoreboard works tonight. It did not last year. Little things. Left on right. Here's the 1-0. This is lined out into right center for a base hit, maybe more. Cheryl scores. Brown around third. He'll score. Anderson over to cut it off quickly and hold Blancato to a single. He drives in a pair, and Georgia Southern strikes early. Well, in the pregame show, you heard what Coach Strickland said. They don't hit a lot of home runs. It's really important to get the leadoff man. And unfortunately, the leadoff man was hit by a pitch. (laughs) Blancato from third, one and two. Kaiser, a little flare down the left field line. That's a fair ball, and it rolls to the warning track. A two-out run for Georgia Southern. Kaiser thinking second. The relay throw bounces twice. It pulled LaPlante off the bag as Tate couldn't get enough on it. It's a 3-0 Georgia Southern lead on an RBI double to the opposite field for J.D. Kaiser. On a 1-2 pitch, left on left. That is not easy to do, but enough strength to get the barrel to it and bring up A.J. Wenrich. One, two, loop down the line and left. That's going to drop in for a base hit, maybe more. Kaiser, the catcher around first, on his way to second. Tate's throw, he is safe. Well, Blancato went to second on a wild pitch, went to third on a wild pitch, and scores on the double by Kaiser. A 1-1 con and a fly ball, well hit left center field. Peacher at the fence, reaches for it, but can't make the play. This may clear the bags. Relay throw comes at a shortstop, and it ends up as a three-run triple for Condon. Peacher was nestled up against the wall, just couldn't make the grab, and the Bulldogs have taken the lead. They are up 4-1. to 4-3, to three, rather, my apologies. It looked like he was there, but as the ball descended, it just didn't get made next to the scoreboard, which is... In. Here comes Tate. Condon head first into third with a bases clearing triple and Georgia surges ahead four to three. Condon with the first triple of his career and he now has 23 RBIs on the season. Woo! And making them pay a hit batter and two walks and Condon comes up big. One, two. Kaiser, a liner to center field, got bat to it, forcing Anderson to drop back and make the very high catch. I think he misjudged it. Plenty deep enough to score a run as Sammy Blancato touches home. Kaiser with two RBIs and two plate appearances, and it is four to 4-4 in the top of the third. Right on left, here's the pitch. This is lifted out into center. Anderson starts in, retreats, reaches, makes the catch. The throw will wisely come to third. It's a sack fly to bring in Blancato. Kaiser has his second RBI, and it's 4-4. Four to four. I think both teams will take that trade. Yes. Georgia for sure. One out. Tall right-hander deals. And that's a walk. Four pitches as Evans drives in a run. Eagles retake the lead 5-4. to four. If it's not there, they're not going to swing as Ledford stomps on home plate to give the lead back to the Eagles. There's ball four, and Georgia Southern has a 5-4 to four lead. And that's a second walk issued to Evans. And that is Georgia's fourth walk allowed. i got to write RBI here. And my scorebook's starting to look a little funny. Petro for one. Quick worker, a one pitch. Slap shot out to left field, a base hit. Fox scores run number six. Wenrich held at third. They'll stay low to the relay cut in fair territory. J.C. Peacher drives in a run as the bags stay full. Eagles with a three-run inning so far and a 6-4 to four lead. Second base, it hits the umpire and goes into short center field. Wenrich scores. Evans scores. Eagles have runners at first and third as Peacher goes corner to corner. That might have been a double play for Georgia to finish the inning, but it hits second base umpire Tyler Simpson and avoided the diving second baseman LaPlante. The 0-1. Liner out in the left. That's a base hit. Falk scores. Kaiser will be held at third. It's an RBI signal. It's now 6-4 Georgia Southern. Just the freebies. Greenler's 1-1. Ground ball towards second. Did that hit the umpire? It skips through into center. One run in. Two runs in. 
Runners on the corners as Winrich and Evans score, and it is eight to four. Georgia Southern looked like the dogs might have a shot at two, and that ball skipped. I think that did hit the umpire, DJ. Coach Strickland's coming out. Second base umpire, Tyler Simpson. One-two pitch. Slapped out to short in the hole, out to left for a base hit, an RBI off the bat. As Murillo drives in, Georgia's fifth run, they cut it to two, and two are still on as Harbor comes home. Maybe a meatloaf baseball. One-two, one more time. Driven pretty well to left center field. Peacher speeds over. Peacher dies, but it hits off his glove and rolls close to the track. Georgia had to stop its runners as David is waved home. Relay throw to the plate. Kaiser has to come out in front to block it. RBI double for LaPlante. Murillo goes to third. Nearly got themselves into a rundown, but an RBI double has cut the Georgia Southern lead to 7-6. to six. Second time that Peacher has been so close, but just not quite. Liner to shortstop, high hop, Evans, he knocks it down, way on the outfield grass, exchanges, throws to Ledford, it skips by into foul territory. Murillo scores the tying run, LaPlante scores the go-ahead. Milchuk, 3-2. Anderson rifles one to left, the other way, base hit over the top of Brown. Wenrich drops it in left field, George is going to try to steal a run out of this, and they will as Brown picks up on the short hop and can't throw it anywhere. Turn back to second base to see where Anderson was, and he's standing. It's a single. Georgia Southern commits its third error, and the Bulldogs add their ninth run to make it 9-7. The 2-2 coming up. Now the scoreboard says 3-2. Well, it's something. As that pitch gets past the catcher, Kaiser, coming in to score is Anderson. A wild pitch, and man, Georgia Southern treating this game like Christmas with all the gifts. The giveaway city here. And I understand, in theory, maybe the wild pitch still comes if there's somebody else up there. But I do not get why they did not walk Condon here. That's what I was wondering, too. And maybe they get him here, and so be it. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Condon strikes out to retire the side. But Georgia gets two more in the inning on two hits. Here's a one-two. Hit high and deep out into right field. This one's got a chance. Blancato's going back. He's looking up. It's a grand slam. There you go, Parks. And a good call, Jeff. Going oppo as those LED lights going on and off and on and off. How about that? Condon had a bases clearing triple in the second. Parks Harbor with a salami here in the seventh. And it is all dogs. Make it 15 to 7. Five guys in the nine that play multiple positions. One and two to Harbor. That's hit well to right center field. That might be trouble. Blancato back to the notch. It is off the light tower for an opposite field grand slam. Jamie reaches out and dribbles this one to third. Radans the bare hand, sidearm toss to first, and Jamie is out. Close play, but there's no review, so that's the call. A run comes in. Blancato scores the fourth of the inning. It's 15 to 11 as Blake Evans strides in. Give Jamie the RBI ground out. 2 1. Hit well to left field. Rising towards the wall, and it's gone. Mason LaPlan with just his second. Career home run. Stewart's 2-1. Hit high and deep out into left. This one's got a chance. Hybe's going back. Look it up. This ball is out of here. A big insurance home run from Mason LaPlante, his second of the season, and the Dogs now lead by five. Liner out into center field. Here comes Petrie. He's not going to get there. It's a base hit. Around third, Anderson, he'll score 17-11, Georgia. And Connor Tate just continues to clean up. Tonight. No doubt. This has popped up. This should do it out into shallow center. Here comes Anderson. He'll call and make the catch. That's the ball game. Three up and three down go the Eagles as Georgia wins by a final score of 17 to 11. We'll come back and check the totals after this timeout here on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network.